Stop. Suggesting that compromise is going to be or is key to bridging perspectives, to sharing stories, to understanding across the spectrum. Uh, and habit, well, maybe two years in February since I quit smoking. Uh, <laughs> habit. I think that. Probably the way in which our culture develops is frequently based on our habitual behavior. Um, we become comfortable in one way of being or one way of interacting with the world. It could be considered a habit. Provide storage, water, sanitary facilities, and security for outdoor sleeping in a safe location in the city on a temporary basis pending the construction of permanent housing. Um, I personally uh, see this as pivotal from a from a health and safety perspective. I think that I don't think we'll ever, even in Portland, in in places where there have been long term tent cities, I I don't think people I think there needs to be one level up from there. I don't, I don't see tent cities as being a solution of any sort, but I do think that providing storage and washroom facilities. Um, Permanently and 24-hour accessibility to them is 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 critical. Is is a now um, a now issue, and um, the problem is who's going to do it and how are they going to do it and where's the funding and I mean it's yeah I I'm all in support of that but I certainly don't see it happening. Why not? That's why we're sitting here talking. I think it's why not. Like we say, we know that there's most people know there's an issue. It's not a lack of funding or property. We're a wealthy community. We're. A, I mean, why? Why? Why aren't? Why don't we all have homes? I mean, wh why? That's the question. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 